Uh, Megan um, actually dealt with something with a, tra a tractor trailer, rather. It involved her brother who was seriously hurt when the tractor trailer had a blowout right in front of him and then swerved into him, crushing his car. Uh, Megan said she's sure the driver didn't expect this, but isn't he still at fault somehow? And where do we begin uh, going down this road? All right, Megan, I, I hope your brother is okay. Um, but this, you know, I, I understand your inclination to sort of sympathize with the driver when you have a blowout of a tire, but uh, truck drivers know uh, that they actually have a responsibility to be checking these tires. So he might have known a little bit, think that this, this was a possibility here. Okay, I don't know if you've ever gone into a truck stop and you see on the wall a bunch of big hanging uh uh, pieces of wood with a handle on it. You're wondering why they sell it at a truck stop. Well, that's for these truckers to pull over every certain number of miles and to actually hit their tires to check to see if there's any give in the tire to see if it's actually going to blow out on them because they lose control of those huge uh, uh, vehicles and people like your brother, unfortunately, uh, get hurt. And the benefit of going to a trial lawyer after an uh, incident like this is that the trial lawyer knows to send the uh, driver and whoever owns the trucking company a spoliation letter, which tells them to keep all of the evidence that would be necessary to prove that that driver should have known that his tires were going to blow out. They have all kinds of rules and regulations that require them to check the tread every uh, and log all the sort of maintenance of these vehicles because they so often hurt individuals. And so we do our best to try and make them safe. And if we've got a trucking company or a trucker out there that's not doing what they're supposed to, the bare minimum, uh, according to the law, then they they should be held responsible for a situation like this if they're not doing what they're supposed to to, to check, uh, check their vehicle. Um, there are things to, like acts of God that occur. Uh, but in this situation, this is a common way in which truckers lose control of their uh, vehicles and it's often because they're they're trying to push what their vehicles can do.